Also, the difference between Rome and Paris, if you're considering which one to go to. I have been asked to do this video and I'm gonna tell you the difference. Both cities are remarkably amazing and you have to see both of them. I would say if you had a two week trip, I'd spend a week in each city because they're that different. Okay, number one. The French are very different from Italians. Uh, the French are more reserved. And don't believe all that crap about, oh, people are snotty and they don't care in France. It's not true. Things have changed considerably. Many people in the tourist locations speak English, which is astounding and I never expect it. Um, and are happy to talk to you. Every time I got lost in Paris or didn't know where I was going, I asked a young person, they always knew English, and got help on the metro. I like to really figure out a city because a big city in Europe is gonna have transportation, it's going to have things connected, and it's always gonna be, you're always gonna be able to find food to eat, buy restaurants, bistros, street food that doesn't cost very much everything. Um, so that's the cool thing about European big cities. Okay, Italians in Rome are friendly. Not as many people, I would say, um, don't expect everybody to know English because not everybody is going to. Of course, in the tourist locations, young people will know it. Um, and people that deal with uh, tourists from the United States usually know it but it seems to be it's interesting i felt like more people knew english in paris um i've spent more time in rome another thing that's very different lodging accommodation the costs are much higher in paris i would say and i always go in winter you can get a much better deal in rome on lodging um even in the good locations, but not during summer, not when it's highly touristed, which I recommend you don't go at those times because it's just too crazy. I don't do lines. I'm not gonna wait in line for anything. Um, so I like to just walk in a place and have it be welcoming to me. Um, so there's that about lodging. Restaurant costs are pretty similar, although in the much nicer places in Paris, I was astounded by the costs. Similar to here in California, but if you're not used to paying 50 to $100 for an entree at a fancy place in Paris, um, you're gonna be shocked. It's pretty similar in California. Uh, I don't really do that. Those kind of places are cool though. If you go for like um, a drink, in an appetizer or just a drink um because there was i found a great place bon vivant in paris right next to my hotel hotel familia i'll have all the links below and you can go check for your dates and go to these places and see what the prices are for you um and then in rome um i recently found out for lodging um the Rome Termini train station has a lot of good deals on rooms. You just have to take, you're a little farther from the action, but it's easy to get to everything by bus. You could even walk. I walked from there all the way to Vatican City. Um, and then, okay, so another thing, architecture. You're gonna fall over just beautiful stuff in Rome and it's just incredible what you see there. Paris, the architecture is amazing, absolutely beautiful. I would say that the um, the gardens in Paris, if you're there, if you and I am, I love gardens. Luxembourg Garden, I could stay there all day and have a fantastic time and do nothing else but that. Um, and then there's all these bistros around. You don't even have to go to anywhere fancy. You can get the best croissant in the world for less than two euros there. Um, we pay twice that here in California. Um, so, you know, in both places you can get street food for pretty low prices. You're gonna pay more in Paris though. Um, 
getting to the, don't rent a car in either city, absolutely do not. The public transportation is good if you have to. You could always use an Uber in Paris. Uber is not in Rome. So you'd have to use another app. Free now is what I use there, but I generally don't use taxis unless I just am completely tired after walking nine miles in Paris the last time in one day. <laughs> and need to go back to my hotel room and take a nap. Um, so those are the differences. And, you know, of course the food is different. Here's what I found. The wine is very different. It, I felt like in France it was there's a delicacy to it that is uh, very subtle. And I wine is delicious. Wine, of course, is wonderful in Italy and Sicily and Prosecco. Um, but in terms of culinary, gastronomy, very different. So um, you have to go to both. But those are the differences. Of course, the architecture is going to be very different. And there's very distinct, the arrondissements, the very, there's 18 separate, well, they're not separate, but they're areas of the city of Paris um, that you can explore. And there's different neighborhoods in Rome as well that are very different from each other but um it kind of feels more ancient in rome i could be wrong but i just recently found out from my brother that um the reason the architecture in paris is so wonderful is because the uh, parisians didn't fight in world war ii they're just like fine we don't want our buildings destroyed and that's why they're still standing, so they didn't fight back and have their whole city destroyed. And man, the architecture is so is breathtaking. The apartment buildings and the um, palaces and just the beauty is very incredible. Same. Oh, here's the difference. The Bernini marble fountains in Rome. I mean, they're just all over the place. It's just those fountains are incredible. You can just sit and stare at them forever. I like the piazzas in Rome. Those are usually pretty touristy too, though. So, you know, just have a coffee or a drink somewhere because you can't count on the quality of the food in those kind of places. If there's a guy standing out front trying to get you to come in and eat, don't go in that means the food isn't good because all the places where the food is good there's nobody standing out in front it's just well known that those places are good um so hey if you have any question about the difference between paris and rome let me know uh i would love to help you i do travel consultations so if you're thinking of a european trip you're thinking of moving to europe or moving to south america or asia or anywhere or you need a plan in place for your travel lifestyle uh get in touch they're one-on-one -on -one over the phone or on zoom so happy travels and i'll talk to you later